is known as the home of the historical and natural treasures. It was one of the first in Nagas communities that Spanish missionary first contacted in 1575. Historical documents indicate that the first encounter took place on St. John the Baptist Day, who afterwards became Bago City patron saint, following a petition by its most notable residents of the Spanish government. Bago was given town status in 1800s. The parish of Bago was established in 1820-22 after the order of Augustine and Recollects gained responsibility for the town's spiritual leadership. Later, the church received extensive renovations in the 20th century and was reconstructed in stone with various influences seen in its designs. The most remarkable feature of the church is the bi-level square exterior which conceals a more conventional architecture uh, with a triangular gable roof. The architectural entrance has a portico with three arches that encloses a double wooden door and two windows. Then, all with wrought iron lunettes and textured glass, as well as the two beautiful Greek crosses that can be seen on the exterior upper level of the church in which opens to a large area. Although some of the structure has been plastered over, some of the original brickwork has been left exposed in the peripheral buttresses. Instead of the bell towers, this support belvedere's that once offered use of the town and river but are now closed to the public. So let me show you the exterior design of the church. Let's go! is extensively decorated with ornate moldings of cherubs, saltar crosses, and fleur de lis motifs and also ceremonial garlands and is supported by pilasters with Doric capitals and dental cornices. A medallion of St. John the Baptist is also located behind a series of stained glass windows on the upper level. And also, uh, the central pilasters are topped with orthodox crosses interspersed with decorative pediments of framing a central pediment on which the statue of Christ the King stands. So guys, let's take a look at the interior portion of the church. Yeah, it's kick. The interior of the church repeats many of the design motifs and the facade, and particularly the Doric posts that separate the nave from the aisles and the garland and saltar moments. Clerestory wheel windows line with the wooden barrel bolted seat. More of the original brickwork is visible in the recesses of the side doorways and windows, as well as the passages with the bell vedders revealing the thickness of the outer walls and structures. These have been embellished with plaster accents that visually transition the red bricks to the plaster walls. The main altar as well as the transept chapels are unified by the tall, narrow arc motifs that echo the arcs on the facade. Or the scarcity doorways return to a more neoclassical design with Doric order, pilasters, and curved pediments. So, as you have seen in the video, inside the church, the interior portion of the church, the details, the red bricks, the walls, the windows, the doors, and the pews are well crafted and truly amazing. Some would object to the modernization of the Bago Parish Church its remodeling and renovation retaining some of the old while embracing the new guarantees that it will continue to serve the city for decades to come. So wow! Yeah. Bago Parish Church is truly amazing when 
yes. it comes to its design. So, Maxine, since it's your first time here in Bago Parish Church, what can you say about its design, our vlog? Yeah, I was so impressed with the church uh, architectural design and I would like to visit again. So, I hope also that our viewers would like also to come here at Bago to explore visit. its Absolutely phenomenal visit. Yes. Yes. Every detail, guys, it's really amazing. So that's why, to our viewers, I hope you will like our mini vlog. Mini vlog. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, don't forget to like and, and subscribe, subscribe to our yeah. channel. Yes. Once again, we are the we are Charlie's Angels. Angels. <laughs> bye bye. Kikita <laughs> yuto. Nakikita niyo to? Ito ang bago! <laughs> <laughs>